In today's edition of the Affinity Tools Explained, let's talk about a tool you either use a lot or you probably never use. I call it the hand tool, but the official name is the pen tool, at least according to the documentation. However, the tooltip shows view tool, but then the toolbar shows pen. Let's just call it the hand tool. Even though it is not a very powerful tool, it is still super handy. When it is selected, it shows a couple of interesting details on the top toolbar. First, it shows the document properties of the current document, which are the dimensions, color mode, color depth and the color profile. If the opened document contained camera metadata, the camera model can also be seen. And the final section in the toolbar will allow you to change the working units of the document. This has no effect on the image itself, but on the information panels containing units, like the transform panel or the info panel. So what does the hand tool do? Not much actually. It allows you to pan the document canvas around. Click and hold the mouse button to pan. You don't have to worry about panning the document out of sight as Affinity will make sure that the document stays visible. Panning is especially useful when you are zoomed in. With the hand tool you can quickly move to another area in the document while keeping the current zoom. In theory you could also use the window scroll bars for that. But panning with the hand tool, besides being much faster, it also works more natural. The hand tool has one little trick though. If you double click with it, it will set the zoom of the document to fit the window. By the way, the double click also works if you double click on the tool, which can be useful if you're working with a different tool. Another cool trick of the hand tool is that it has its own custom right click menu. When I right click on the document while the hand tool is selected, I get some quick options for zooming and rotation. Personally I like the reset rotation option here, as it is much quicker than using the view menu. But as you have just seen, I also have a custom shortcut for the reset rotation. So in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that you might not be using this tool that much. And probably the reason for that is the space key. No matter which tool you are using, you can press and hold the space key to temporarily switch to the hand tool. While the space key is pressed, you can now pan your document. Pretty awesome. Sadly, a double click while the hand tool is active does not work in this mode. Also do not confuse the space key with the shortcut key H. The space key will not switch to the hands tool, it will only activate it while being pressed. When you let go, the previous tool will become active. On the other hand, the H key shortcut will switch to the hand tool. While on the subject of panning, if you're working on a Mac and a trackpad, you can also pan without the hand tool or the space key by using two fingers to move around on the trackpad. Another cool feature of the trackpad is that there is something called Smart Zoom. This allows you to quickly zoom between 100% and your current zoom. The trackpad is also ideal for rotating the canvas by using two fingers or by pressing the command key and moving up and down. So the use of the space key or a trackpad makes the hand tool almost obsolete, but it will always have a special place in my heart as it is the only tool that makes me want to give a high five to the computer. Thank you for watching and until the next video.